Good morning. Magandang umaga. Ready na po yung ating altar. Ready na tayo. Tara. Simba na tayo. Welcome to Love Lines. Good morning, Philippines. Ngayon po ay umaga ng linggo at nakatapos na ako mag- eto mag reading <laughs> mag advance reading kaya mamaya ito ang etong altar na to ay i-set ko na ay <laughs> itong take two good morning philippines and hello world ngayon po ay araw ng linggo at mamaya ay atin tayo ng kano flock mass tapos na yung ayan nakapag advance reading na kahit pa paano alam na natin yung misa yung mga pagbasa sa misa so uh, Tara muna, get ready, mag-ayos muna ng mukha at magluto na ng agahan. And eh, see you later, have a good day, and God bless, kita tayo later. Have a good day, happy Sunday! Good morning, magandang umaga, ready na po yung ating altar, ready na tayo, tara, simba na tayo! Ang mga trompeta, awitan sa sariw ng palpat lira. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the Church of San Agustin here in Intramuros. And as we celebrate this Mass in this Church, together with the intentions given to TV Maria and the intentions given to the parish of St. Agustin, let us also pray for our brothers and sisters in Bicol who are trying to rehabilitate themselves because of the typhoon. Brothers and sisters, let us together enter this celebration with humble and contrite hearts. Let us be sorry for our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity 
so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the little cares, divine wisdom with all who seek and are ready for it. God's wisdom is personified as a woman who is found by those who love her. The first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is the perfection of prudence, and whoever for her keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care, because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song, let our response be, My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh finds and my soul thirsts, like the earth, parched, lightless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life, my lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. I will remember you upon my couch. And through the night watches, I will meditate on you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Paul comforts those who mourn the dead with the thought of that future resurrection. The living, likewise, will be caught up with them. In glory when Jesus comes at the end of the age. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. <clears throat> we do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we, who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, in the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with those words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Please all stand to Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Stay awake. And be ready 
For you do not know what you are there. You know we Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and bring their lambs. The police ones said to the wives, Give us some of your oil, for our lambs are going out. But the wise ones replied, No. For there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went into the wedding place with him. Then the doors was locked. Afterwards the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please May isang bahagi ng Bible na hindi masyadong nabibigyan ng pansin. Ay iyan ay iyong tinatawag na wisdom literature. Marami din ang mga aklat na nabibilang dito, lalo na sa Old Testament. Yung mga aklat ng Kawikaan, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus o Ben Sirach. Karunungan ni Solomon Awit ng mga awit Ayon sa mga ito Ang karunungan ay higit pa Kaysa ginto at pilak Ito ay biyaya ng Diyos At ito rin ay bunga Ng pagsisikap ng mga tao Habang hinahanap-hanap natin ito Ito rin ay nag-aabang at kumahanap sa atin. Yan po ang nilalaman ng ating unang pagbasa ngayon na galing sa Book of Wisdom. Matatagpuan ang karunungan ng mga naghahanap sa Kanya. Kailangan natin ang karunungan dahil sa ito ay nakakatulong sa ating mga sa ating na mamuhay ng maayos at maginhawa sa buhay na ito. Ang karunungan ay hindi para sa kabilang buhay, kundi para sa buhay natin ngayon dito sa mundo. Higit pa kaysa kaalaman at kalitalinuhan ang karunungan, ito ay kaalaman na isinasabuhay. 
may mga kilala tayo mga tao na maalam, mataas ang napag-aralan at baka matalino pa nga pero hindi marunong sa buhay. Walang diskarte sa buhay at hindi masaya. Sira ang kanilang pamilya. Hindi umaasenso sa trabaho at baka pa nga nalulun sa bisyo. Hindi sila marunong. Alam naman nila ang masama pero ginagawa pa rin nila. Tuloy napapasama sila. So wisdom is more than intelligence or knowledge. Computers can be more knowledgeable than most of us, but they do not have wisdom. Because wisdom comes from experience and is attained by practice and practical sense. Sikapin natin na maging marunong tayo. Si Jesus mismo ay kumagamit ng wisdom sayings. Marami siyang mga matalinhagang kasabihan at mga kwento na ginagamit ng mga wise men. Si Jesus ay nilapitan ng mga tao dahil sa siya ay magaling mangaral. Sa totoo lang, kilala siya bilang isang guru, isang rabi. Ito ay tawag sa mga taong may karunungan. Bakit pinag-uusapan natin ang wisdom, ang karunungan? Kasi ito ang katangian ng mga abay na nag-aantay sa ikakasal na lalaki sa ating Ibanghelyo. Five of them are wise and five are foolish. These ten virgins stand for all of us. Because all of us are waiting for the bridegroom to come. All of us are in a state of waiting for the Lord who is to come again. Pero, pero, ganito nga ba? Talaga nga bang tayo ay nag-aabang sa pagdating ng Panginoon? This is an important question that we should first ask ourselves. Because nowadays, Many people are so short-sighted. Para sa kanila, dito lang ang buhay. Ito lang ang buhay. Ngayong buwan ng November, pinaalaala sa atin na may kabilang buhay. Marami na tayong kilala na nauna na sa atin doon sa kabilang buhay. At siguradong sigurado na susunod din tayo pagpunta sa kabilang buhay. Walang exempted dito. Pero saan sa kabilang buhay tayo pupunta? Iyan ang tanong. Kung hindi tayo marunong, mapagsasarhan tayo ng pinto at hindi tayo makasasalo sa kasiyahan ng kasalan. Sa ating ikalawang pagbasa, Pino problema ng mga Kristiyano sa Thessalonica ang mga yumao nila. Lahat sila ay nag-abang sa pagbalik ng Panginoon nung tinanggap nila si Jesus at sila ay nabinyagan. Pero ilan sa kanila ay namatay na? Makakatagpo pa ba nila ang Panginoon? Hindi na niya yata sila makikita pagdating niya. Ito ang akala nila, kaya nalungkot sila sa mga kasamahan nilang namatay na. Hindi na nila makakatagpo ang Panginoon pagdating niya. Sabi ni San Pablo na huwag silang mag-alala. All of us will meet the Lord when He comes again. Those who have already died, which is euphemistically referred to as those who have fallen asleep, will be raised up from the dead to meet the Lord. So whether we are still alive now or have died, we will all meet the Lord. Kaya nga tayong lahat ay nasa estado ng pag-aabang sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Ang ating inaabangan ay masaya, kasalan, handaan. Hindi tayo natatakot. Ang problema lang, 
ay hindi natin alam kung kailan siya darating. Totoo ang sinabi, You do not know the date nor the hour. Sa katagalan ng pag-aantay, lahat ng sampung abay ay nakatulog. This is part of human weakness. But what is important is that when He finally comes, we are ready to meet Him with lamps burning. Ano ba itong ilawan na nakasindi? Naalaala natin na minsan sinabi ni Jesus na tayo ay ang liwanag ng mundo. We are the light of the world. Dapat nakasindi ang ating ilawan upang makita ng mga tao ang ating mabubuting gawa at parangalan ang ating amang nasa langit. Kaya ang ilawan na nakasindi ay may kaugnayan sa kabutihang gawa. Tulad ng ang kadiliman ay nauugnay sa kasamaan at kasalanan. So we can say that the oil of the lamb is related to good works. St. Paul wrote, God will repay everyone according to his works. Eternal life to those who seek glory, honor, and immortality through perseverance in good works. Romans chapter 2, verse 6 to 7. So as we wait for the Lord to come, let us equip ourselves by doing good. At huwag tayong magsawa sa paggawa ng mabuti. Ang iba ay nakakaroon ng donor fatigue. Tayo mga Kristiyano ay huwag sanang magkaroon ng generosity fatigue or goodness fatigue. Again, St. Paul wrote, Let us not grow tired of doing good, for in due time, we shall reap our harvest if we do not give up. So, while we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, but especially to those who belong to the family of the faith. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10. Matalino ang mga abay na may mga langis ng kabutihan habang sila'y nag-aabang sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Kaya ang kabutihan na ginagawa natin ay hindi lang nakakatulong sa nagawa natin ng mabuti. Yan ay nakakatulong sa atin na gumagawa ng kabutihan. We are never the losers when we do good. Any good that we do benefit us first of all. That is why we hear this admonition of St. Paul in the Acts of the Apostles. Keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts chapter 20 verse 35. By the way, this is the only direct quotation from the Lord Jesus that we do not find in the Gospels but is reported by St. Paul that comes from Jesus himself. Blessing comes first to all of those who give. We receive more by giving. This is a good reminder to us now that many of our brothers and sisters are in dire need because of Typhoon Rolly. Naalaala ninyo last Sunday, Mga ganitong oras, mga alas 10, nangangamba tayo din sa banta na dadaan sa Metro Manila si Roy. Nabalitaan na natin noon ang nangyayari sa Bicol. Nababalitaan natin kung gaano kalakas itong super typhoon na ito. Hindi biro. Talagang nagdasal tayo na lumihis Uhumi naman lang si Rolly at himala, miracle, nangyari nga, lumihis at humina si Rolly. Hindi tayo napinsala. Prayer really works. Isipin na lang natin kung tinamaan tayo ng ganong bagyo. 
ang laking kasinaan siguro sa mga structures natin, sa mga buhay natin. Pero hindi, naligtas tayo, tahimik yung araw ng linggo. Maaari bang ito ay paanyaya na bilang pasasalamat maging generous tayo sa tinamahan? Kung napinsala tayo, gagastos tayo at maaaring malaking gastos. Ngayong ibinigay sa atin, ibigay natin ang magagastos natin kung napinsala tayo. Ibigay natin sa tinamaan ng bagyo. Next Sunday, November 15, is the World Day of the Poor with the theme, Stretch forth your hand to the poor. We commemorate this World Day of the Poor every year since 2017, which is set at the Sunday before the Solemnity of Christ the King, which this year falls on November 22. This year, the World Day of the Poor has been declared by CBCP as the Alay Kapwa Sunday. Our Alay Kapwa program is a Lenten program during which we ask for collections that are set aside to respond to calamities. We were not able to have Alay Kapwa last season of Lenten because of the lockdown. So we do not have funds this year to respond to calamities and Typhoon Rolly hit us hard. So please be generous. You can give your donations this Sunday or next Sunday to Caritas Manila. And this for us is our agency of helping those people in Bicol or to Alay Kapwa Collections in your parishes next week. All our collections next week will go to Alay Kapwa. Medyo mabigat ito sa mga parokya na hindi pa nakakaahon sa mga gastos dahil sa matagal na sarado ang mga simbahan at hanggang ngayon hindi pa full capacity ang mga simbahan natin. Pero kahit na, may pangangailangan ngayon ang iba na masigit pa kaysa pangangailangan ng ating mga simbahan. Besides, as the Lord said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Magbigay at mararamdaman natin ang kabaitan ng Panginoon mismo. Maging matalino tayo. Maging handa palagi. Magkaroon ng lamis na kabutihan habang nag-aabang tayo sa Panginoon na darating. Huwag maghinayang magbigay. Hindi sayang ang mga itinutulong natin sa iba. Let us now together profess our common faith as God's people. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God come to God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things are made, for us men and for our salvation, who came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that as we await the glorious coming of His beloved Son, we may be filled with His wisdom in order to live out the gospel values in every moment of our lives. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may truly become wise in their words and actions, so that their decisions may promote human flourishing, especially among the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our political and civil leaders may value the kingdom of God as the greatest treasure and think of heaven as the true home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated persons who have abandoned everything for the sake of the kingdom may, by their joyful living of the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, show their brothers and sisters the primacy of God's kingdom over everything else. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who despair in life, those who are burdened by weakness and sin, and those who are discouraged and pessimistic about the future, may regain trust in God, who will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who grieve for their departed ones, may be strengthened by their hope in the life hereafter, and that those who have gone ahead of us may share the joy of the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill us with your Spirit, Father, so that we may overcome our weaknesses and offer you lives of faithfulness and service. In the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. This be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Please 
song stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrifice and gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <coughs> my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Listen. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, that your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Roderick our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Conrado, young Victor, Juana Contamina, Joaquin Pong, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most dear spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace. Na na peace na na peace. Na na peace. Na na peace. Na na peace. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Stand. 
Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by pouring forth on your spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kasalin po natin ang Oratio M. Carata. Please all kneel. Makapangyarihan at mapagmahal na ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hilihin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang na atas sa lutong klas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Patubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malakipan ng husay at malasakit. Itinataas namin ang mga nagdurusa. Makamtanawa nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Lingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila. Pagkamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga kumanaw na. Pagkalooban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Hukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan. Magsasumahan kami sa iyong ihinto na ang paglaganap ng virus at ipagadya kami sa lahat ng mga tao. Humihiling, hinihiling namin ito sa pamangkita ng Yeso Kristo na nabubuhay at naghahari kasama ng Espiritu Santo, iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Dumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming mga kahilingan sa aming pangangailangan at ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan, maluwalhari at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Mahal na Birheng, mapagpagaling sa may sakit, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael ang karen, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calonso, ipanalangin mo kami. San Tarita de Casha, ipanalangin mo kami. San Agustin at Santa Monica, ipanalangin mo kami. Tumayo po ang lahat. So minamahal pong mga kapatid, pasalamatan po natin ang nangunang apostolic administrator ng Arkes of Manila, Bishop Roderick Tabinio. Palakpakan po natin si Bishop. Dahil dito po sa lahat ng ating mga lectors at commentators sa mga status tan, at dahil din ang isang malaking karangal ang nakasama tayo at nakasama natin ang espesyo ng TV Marina. Palapakan po natin ang mga taga-TV Marina. So, napakaganda po ng panagahan sa atin ng ating mahal na si Bishop nung gamit ito po natin ng karunungan papalapit sa Diyos. Sumain niyo ang Panginoon at sumain niyo rin. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity away from you and His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right and may be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Good morning, Father. Good morning, everyone. Siya, ang mga sa puso ni Jesus, 
na natapos na ang misa at ano ba yun? Let's be wise. Samahan natin ang hanapin natin ang karunungan. <laughs> karunungan, oh, ha? Karunungan sa'yo. Anong nilalagay mo dyan? Oh, oh, ano rin yun yung video mo? ko sa YouTube? May video ka? Uh -huh. Oo. Yeah. Oo ba? Happy Sunday. Happy <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sunday. Na naman <laughs> Happy Sunday. Ay, Ya, tapi kan tak bawa kan anak oh. Kau ni ni aku. Kami nak, tapi orang nak niwang. Niwang. Eh, ni, ada nama yang papa kita aku sayo. Ah, ayo ko. Eh, to maganda to, ano to nak? Ah, alising ko napa lah to. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Love Lines. Have a good day and God bless.